Welcome back to the, the stream, everyone. My name is The Little Bandit, or Bandit for short. And for the next little while, I might be doing things a little different. I know I have the schedule set on the channel that Monday and Thursdays are Final Fantasy. Tuesdays and Fridays are Genshin Impact. And Wednesday, we've been playing Stray. Um, I did not stream all of last week, and it has been... Difficult to say the least to try to do it this week. Um, I did lose my little brother About a week and two days ago He was in a car accident and unfortunately did not make it through and uh, I'm the oldest out of all of my siblings So, you know, I've always cared for all of them and taken care of them made sure they were safe. So this is been one of the more difficult things I've ever had to endure in my life and I don't think it's gonna get easier anytime soon but uh I'm at home alone most of the day so I've got to start doing things and um, I know he was excited about me starting uh, a streaming twitch channel and I don't know if he ever saw any of the streams but I know that if he saw uh, what we were playing today I know he would want to um, today we are doing something a little different. I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I know it's not Wild Card Wednesday or anything, and I'm off the schedule, but things will be different for a little bit. Um, we, Assassin's Creed was the very first Assassin's Creed game I ever played. I saw a friend play it at a party and picked this game up. I, uh didn't know what order the games were in, which is why I ended up playing Brotherhood first. But in playing that, my younger brother and my younger sister used to watch me play this game a lot. I know uh, he played it himself as well, and he was young enough at the time that he would come ask for my help when he got stuck. So I'm going to be starting, I do already have a playthrough going for this one, but I'm going to try and do a whole brand new one. We'll start from the beginning. And I'm going to just be playing this game and talking about my brother when I can. Uh, <laughs> trying to push through. So without further ado... Oh, and <laughs> I guess I never... Uh, pointed that out, but that picture up there in the top right corner is him. It's a picture that one of his friends took when he was, uh, he was attending UTI. He was a big dork like that. He loved to make people laugh. He used to make me laugh like nobody's business. So I found it only fitting that, uh, <laughs> that I put this picture of him wearing his glasses upside down. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to adjust the, let's see, the capture device. Adjust the audio here a little bit, so hopefully, there we go, that should be fine. story mode and this is my already started save at 25% let's go ahead and create a new one and we'll go ahead and put it under bandit so that way I can distinguish it from the other playthrough 
I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. And it's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair Ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Peace of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Mario Auditore, let me hear. Oh, shit. Man, this game is like ridiculously bright. run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. That's who was my favorite. Out of all the assassins, he's always been my favorite. Imagine my confusion playing this game for the very first time and not knowing what the fuck was going on. I mean, thankfully the game is fun enough and entertaining enough that you can kind of figure it out and get some context clues around along the way. But I didn't play the second Assassin's Creed 2, which is Ezio's introduction. But 
it still holds a very special place in my heart. It's still my favorite. It, used to, it was my comfort game for years up until I, um, up until I discovered Breath of the Wild. But even now, the game just feels like a like a nice warm Better blanket. Better in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Okay, let's see. There it is. It's trigger. Right trigger. There it is. It's holding A. Okay. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. So if you guys are like, wow, that game is like extremely bright. Why is it so bright? I don't know. It is really bright for me too. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini. God will see you pay for your crimes. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio, now. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Be ready with fire. Always ready. What are you doing? Saving you from the look of it. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree. You still had some to do. Bingo. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Impressive. Still got it after all these years. Up until we get to the climbing, and then I'm gonna lose my marbles. Just letting y'all know now. I loved this game, but the climbing in it is absolutely infuriating. Fuck! Oh my god, get down. Get down! <laughs> Because, like, the b unfortunate thing about it is you can run into people and that can throw you off. So it's like telling you to follow Mario closely, but not too close, otherwise you fuck it up. That was something that used to annoy my brother too. Fuck! Was the climbing. We both used to just gripe about the climbing. How it never wanted you to go where you were trying to go. Where are we going, Mario? See- <laughs> What does the game want from you? It doesn't help that, like, if the camera angle changes while you're mid-jump, too, that can also... <laughs> he also <laughs> That's all- it's only fair, Mario. That is only fair. That's gonna get mad at me if I get too far, I think, but I'm just gonna go here, because that's where I wanted you to go.
You really just should have chucked it in the river. To make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Should have just chucked it in the water. I was always really fond of the music in this game, too. Just run off into nothing during the loading screen. Reduce distance to target, even though we haven't even- we're not even moving yet! And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Spain. <laughs> <laughs> We upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. <laughs> we only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. My bad. My guys don't know how to aim. <laughs> I love how Mario's not even holding the reins. His hands are just hovering. Oh, nope, there they go. <laughs> oh, nope, there they go. <laughs> are we running through town? That's right, we are. Welcome back, Ezio. Ezio! Look, it is Ezio! Let me see! That's my name, Bonjour. baby. Don't wear it out. It's good to be home. Two of them. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks you just say that because everyone wants a soup for you. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. <laughs> tell that bitch I said what's up. That's right, there's like all kinds of things to do. Okay, so let's start with the lady with the flowers. Sorry, my bad. You can't just do whatever you I can though. <laughs> what are you gonna You're do? Stop me. Are no better than little girls. I'm not. Need some help. Salve. So hey, many guy in the <laughs> Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh. I have no husband. Let me pick up the flowers. The flowers are for a party. Am I oh, invited? It literally Claudia says Claudia Aldo's a. birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Alditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. Motherfucker, everybody's been. so happy to see him on his way to town and she has you? no idea who he is. The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. 
I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. <laughs> What's going on with the dress? Oh man, this game's old. I love it so much though. I love this game. He did too. He loved it too. We both did. <laughs> How ridiculous it now is. Now about earning my silence. I have something He's in literally mind. wearing like the There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. I love that super terrible Italian accent from her. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Do I want to do cannons or rogue horse? Let's do rogue horse first, and then we'll go do the cannons. So I've played this game a lot on my own. Um, I think I may have done at least three or four separate, like, full run-throughs of this game. Like I said, when I said I liked it and it was like my comfort game, I wasn't kidding. I played this game Buongiorno. a lot. Ezio. Mario is and I never got any better. <laughs> I have lost his favorite horse. Uh oh. Do not despair. I will bring it back. I do you hate Ezio. this because you really gotta like. Where's the horse? Fuck! It was right there. See, so yeah, like I hate the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! So I'm the kind that likes to be able to move and then move the camera. It does not help that the camera will try to move for you. Yes! Horse mechanics, they're fun. <laughs> I always love games that have horses in them. Here. Grazie, I did mention, once a horse girl, always a horse girl, but still. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good mm. news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Motherfucker should have knocked on some wood or something. Is that you jinxed it? Okay. I gotta get up there. Are those supposed to be branches? <laughs> oh, I guess those are supposed to be branches of some sort. I am. Now the cannon guys. We broke them. So. These are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Man, he should have been knocking on all kinds of wood. And the guy we're looking for is in that thing over there. Oh no, I don't think I could climb up there. It's like, what if there's like feathers and stuff here early on in the game? I don't think there are though. I don't think it's till you get to Rome itself that that like the banners and the, the uh, feathers start to become available. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno okay, momento. fine. I'll do it. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. 
You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But yeah, I said, don't guns are like a woman. <laughs> Francia, a hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. I mean... <laughs> I don't think you've imagined what we came up with. <laughs> Alright, hurry up and fix the cannons so I can play with them and then we can move on. What have you done? You know? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Aim at something to test the alignment. Oh, shit. skills with the cannon. <laughs> Must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. <laughs> Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Um. Oh no, I can't go that way. Least. <coughs> okay, let's make our way back. Oop. No, that's fine. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. He didn't even say hi to his sister. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vaults did not house the terrible weapon we feared. 
This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond, and where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Imagine being Desmond Tell me how it and figuring out you. that, like, your Did ancestors knew who you were. Make excuses. Promise power in return. No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remains so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of Volk <laughs> and God and ready to throw places. down. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. But I'm he's not, not here wrong. to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. I forget every time that this door is upstairs and not at the front of the house. Avert your eyes, children! But not me. Those hands! <laughs> this game is so old. Ready to go again? You don't need to ask. <laughs> oh shit. One should always have the freedom to choose. Consent. Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. Merda. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Stay out of sight. Don't tell me what to do. Knee should How be did we not see this? 
They must have mastered the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care of it. Use the cannons above the rampart. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Do you have it? I am keeping it safe. The Borgia must not be allowed to breach the walls until everyone is safely away. Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. Uncle, be careful. I will. Out of every playthrough I have ever done, that is the first time I've ever desynchronized because the city fortifications didn't hold up.
What can I do? I'm just a man with a cannon. Nearly half the town. for one shot. Another thing that gets kind of annoying is the game takes a second sometimes to engage in combat with other enemies. We'll get to a savable point. And I'll just let them talk. Cutscene. I know you're there, Ezio! The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. And this! Give me the gun, his friend fashion for us! We've had too much bloodshed. I think the cleansing is in order. So consider this an invitation from my family! To yours! Worst invitation. Basta! I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Go! Okay, let's pause here. Give me one quick moment.
perfect, but it works. Sanctuary! I <laughs> was just walking so casual. As if there isn't currently a siege going on. <laughs> so oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Mother. Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Grazie, Dio. We could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. <laughs> I have that quick sound of ah before it cut out. Where is Mario? I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town! Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. Get me a horse! Francia. You are not coming with us. Where are you riding? With to Roma! <laughs> Go, my son. Destroy them. But remember for whom we assassins fight. Say go, son. Go fuck him up. Lucy, I can't seem to get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples, that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. Find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes, it's our last safe house in Italy. Good job, genius. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be remembering something else. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Maybe. Exactly, maybe. I believe you experienced something similar back at Abstergo, didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant, at least, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. 
Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access Altair's later memories until Desmond had improved his synchronization. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. The waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Follow me. Desmond, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it I know. Just felt natural. We can get in through here. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone with, with massive targets painted on our backs. Won't this turn on? It's great to be out of the animus. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the embedded six type. What? Desmond? I know how to have fun. Oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> we have lights. What was that? I don't see anything. Run! Get out before he so dusty catch you! Correte! Go! They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. We're focusing on the present, okay? Great. It's stuck. I can get under there. <laughs> Her face, dude. Bleh. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. I'll find a way around. I can drop into the corridor below through here. Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. Desmond? Ah, ten more ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Desmond, we can't climb this. How about you give me a boost? That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. 
Follow me. How about this? What are you going to... <sighs> nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but you're really getting fat. Ouch. Damn! I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. Seriously? No. Up we go. Ready. You know, when I came here last... When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. Whatever. I shouldn't put you through all this. It's not right. Hey, all joking aside, I'm having the time of my life. It's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? Mm. Nothing. Nice try. Ready? Found a switch! Something's open! Great. Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza, and I get a swim in a toilet. Yeah. I've got this one! Be like, is there a way to jump in without having to swim through the water? Oh man, it's freezing! Stop whining! It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. Remember, this is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Big ouch. Ready? Go for it. Okay, release it. How come you don't have to get wet? Because you're here. Charming. Aren't I? No. I've got you. Thanks. Ezio! We are on the other side! Hurry! God, no! Ah! You understand me! Great. Bridge is out. We can't jump this. This game actually I have an idea. is my, how You'll I know have to help how me. to say curse words Stand in at the Italian. Edge and get ready. I'm ready. What you want? Ready. Huh. <sighs> Made it. Let me see. Oh, you go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Sultanti, I have found an entrance. Let's see. 
I'll wait here. Good. Let me just go and get that bridge down for you. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Got it! Did he stop? Thank you, Desmond. I was never her biggest fan. I didn't trust her anyway, so imagine the validation I felt when later in the game you find out that she's been a traitor the whole time. Now it's my turn to even the score. For those of you who didn't know that, I'm sorry and I should have said spoiler the warning. Thanks. <laughs> but it's an old it's game, so you should know by now. Do your magic. Do your magic. Up you go. Thanks. We make a good team. I mean, I guess. Okay. <sighs> See the sanctuary. so old. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond! Right. Let's open that door. What are you yelling at me for? Although I never did look at... paid attention to the statues before. What the hell was that? Try using that special sight you learned from Altair. There's something here. Can you open the damn bookcase, Desmond? Did it. About bloody time. Mm. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. <sighs> Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. Okay, 
Everything's good here. Sean, hide the van in town, and make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. It was Lucy's idea. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. <laughs> He's so grumpy. I love him. Probably can't go get those artifacts yet. Right, look around Monte Riccioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. They're not too far apart, but they are kind of scattered, so... Forgive me on this one, I know where like one or two of them should be, but not all of them. Let's see... There it is. Awesome, all far done. I'm back. Just in time, the sun's rising. Yes, it's booted. We're good to go. Did you miss me? No? Anyone? <laughs> Hello? Am I speaking out loud? Hello? Workaholics. Let's get started. Do we gotta? Can I go outside yet? Go outside yet in the way that I want to. 
There are artifacts hidden around the city that you can go get. But yeah, I think you have to be in a point where you're in the Animus and you can like get out to stretch your legs. And I'm not quite there yet. So we gotta go through the training stuff. As you may have noticed in the van, I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Here you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one in the mission. forgot about those guys. You can access you more VR missions through the Animus desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. To stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories, you're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded them. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it and you're gonna see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. But what if there are memories I just wanna forget? Huh. Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. One last thing. As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Desmond. I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? There was so much talking in this first part of the game. Calmatevi. The pain will end soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the Mausoleo di Augusto. Let me help you get dressed. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes. what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. That should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. Let's 
go to that doctor. I need to find the doctor. That's what I'm doing. And we're not going to get the white horse in this uh. area. Certain horses in this game are faster or slower than others, and this white horse right here in the tutorial area is ridiculously slow. Ah, my arm! Salute. I require medicine. Ah, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. Four out of five doctors would suggest leeches, but they have not proven effective against such things. However, I can recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need anything else? Bring me your sick and wounded! There it is. Someone my age. I was just about to say he called him fucking old. <laughs> my back. Me too. I am currently sitting like a shrimp, so I can uh, empathize with that a little bit. There's one of ten feathers, so now we can start collecting the feathers and the Borgia banners. Synchronized. This is my favorite part about this game. Although the one in the Colosseum was always my favorite. Let's see, I'm not ready to unlock those yet, but we're getting there. Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. Oh shit, the can wait. guy went... How do I... Ah! <laughs> the screen occasionally keeps going, like, dark. before. <laughs> We're talking about trade and business to the new world and that enslavement of the indigenous populations is blessed by the church. He notes there was some consternation regarding Donna Lucrezia being left to administer his flock during his absence, but assures the people she has been touched by higher powers. Get off the ladder! This game, I swear. Hey! Last I checked, this was not the wild. For all the recent hardships, I will still miss this field. And of course. Man, these guys make it real easy to tail them. <laughs> they don't pay attention at all. The new side will ruin us. Start begging into the church doors. The village of Ferentino. Have it. The Orsini family will hold festive games this Saturday in the plain before San Paolo and Fiori Le Mura. Richard Price, you are in my way. Champions promise 4,000 gold scudi to the most valente cavaliere. 
as well as the favorable Donna Lucia Orsini. What the hell is going on? Get down! Oh my gosh. Beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish he just killed her. I wish he just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck. I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Yeah, like Pilcar almost all of them. <laughs> watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Oh, well, now we're gonna go get him. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice. Mm hmm. <laughs> Requiescat in pace. And then you get to live. You know what time it is? It's looting time. Honest moment here. It took me much longer than I care to admit to recognize that that is a hand for the looting. The TV I used to play on. Um, kind of sucked, <laughs> so we never noticed it before. Should be one more guy, and then two treasure chests. I saw one back here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, there's those two there. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and take a quick break. I have to go to the bathroom and I'm hungry, but we will be right back.
best music for your video, then you should check out Atlas. And the license covers everything. Go to Artist now and start creating. It is okay to be so stressed and overwhelmed that you feel like you need to talk to someone about it. And by that, I mean going to therapy. Lately, the transition from college into post-grad and working full-time and adulting has been really stressful. It's a lot of change. And so I've been using BetterHelp to help guide me through this huge transitional time in my life, and I've been loving it. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with a professional, licensed therapist in as little as 48 hours from signing up. The therapist I've been talking to specializes in work-life balance, stress, overwhelm, and self-care, so it was the perfect match for me. I also wanted a Christian therapist, so when I was signing up, I was able to select and search for Christian therapists just so we could have that same background and that same foundation. The service is available to clients worldwide, and you can log in and send a message to your therapist at any time. You'll get a thoughtful and timely response, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like with traditional therapy. And BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to switch therapists anytime if needed. So I highly encourage you all to check out BetterHelp if you're interested and start your therapy journey today.
meditation video in your living room, but now you're taking your practice outdoors. Find mindfulness offline. Try YouTube Premium on us. Now a voice that killed himself. She was telling him to do it. They've opened an investigation into your connection with the death of Conrad Roy. He loved me. We decided on Taco Bell. Now we just have to order it.
Pros knows that your hair is unique to you. I've got curly hair. That's also fine. Working out makes my hair lose definition. Oily roots, but with dry ends. Heat damage is always on my mind. Pros looks at over 85 different factors about your hair, lifestyle, and goals when designing your custom made-to-order formula. Using natural and effective ingredients for your best hair yet. Hair care that's made just for me. Take our free consultation today at pros.com. I've been getting paid a thousand dollars a month, if not more, just from this app on my phone. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's called Audible. Okay, so I'm going to show you right here. I have a check from Audible. This is for one thousand one hundred dollars. Uh, this one's for one thousand one hundred dollars again, and then this one is one thousand two hundred dollars. Every month, I am getting paid by Audible. For those of you that don't know what Audible is, it's actually a child company of Amazon, which is one of the largest marketplaces in the world. So. Audible is where people normally buy and sell audiobooks and podcasts. And the first time I learned about this was three years ago from Christian. So Christian would put up these audio files onto Audible, and just like that, he would get paid. So I saw this, and I said, I could, I could do that. So then I started doing it, and then within a few months, I was able to quit my job, and I started traveling the world with Christian. So I taught the same process to my mom, and now she's making about $900 a month. Then I decided to teach my little brother who's in college right now so that he can pay off his student loans. So the best part about this is that it is so beginner friendly and I wanna show you how easy it is. Obviously this is an ad, so I can't really show you anything, but if you click the link below, you'll be able to attend a free training that Christian put together and it goes over the exact same steps that he taught me, my mom, and my little brother. It's a simple training. It's just four steps about how you can start leveraging Audible today. And honestly, three years ago, I knew nothing about online business. I didn't know, I didn't even know you could put things online and I was able to make this happen. And my mom, okay, she doesn't even speak perfect English. She knows nothing about technology or setting up accounts. And she was able to make... I guess that's what happens when I don't watch things. All of a sudden, there's a YouTube ad in the background that y'all are having to listen to that I didn't know was happening. Alrighty. Go ahead and plug my headphones back in. Hope that that horrible noise goes away. Sounds like it did. So we decided on Taco Bell It's quick, it's easy Yeah My audio is not working, let me plug this into the right jack There we go Perfect This the button on that. Ha! Forge of Towers. Oh, that's right, we're about to go destroy our first one. The GameStop stop. Oh, that's right. I'm not in a spot. I was about to be like, did the game stop spawning people in? Meanwhile, I'm in a section of the map that doesn't even spawn random people in in the first place. Oh my 
probably gonna run where I can't follow him. Damn it, yeah. That's exactly what he did. He ran into Forge territory. Not even that it's Forge territory, but that it's a portion of the map that's like not open. This first Borgia Tower is always difficult in that I want to get 100% synchronization, but it is incredibly difficult since this guy hides in a little alcove in the back. And then you also have to throw him into a, a tower, and I always forget that I have to grab function. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Not yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped them. Well, they about to know, so yeah, throw the Borgia captain into the scaffolding, so there's scaffolding over there. So I essentially need to draw him out, and then... Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. Am I missing? I have my blade. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can help. Sugar Daddy Machiavelli Grazie. over here. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. Mans gives him money and he's still shit talking. survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteregione. How could I have known that they would find me so quickly? That they would kill Mario? Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter Lucrezia has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. The laws of men mean nothing to him. He murdered his own brother to take power. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword clamor to join the ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet. And the King of France Ooh. stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare. Head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sights on all of Italia, and at this rate he will have it. Is that admiration I hear in your voice? He knows how to exercise his will. A rare virtue oh, in the I world. I can't today. draw attention to myself, but I want that banner. No work to be found. up on the first stable and the first forge of tower. Should we not travel by horse? Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, 
They have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? What are you implying, Ezio? Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Yeah, my plan right now is just gonna come in here, guns a fucking blazing, so that this guy will come out. I can throw him into the scaffold. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? This guy. Can I grab him? Grab him! think I would change my approach and do something differently? The answer is no, I will do no such thing. I still have to draw him out. Do you have some kind of plan? I am improvising. Yep, the plan is called fuck it, fuck it we ball, as my brother would say. I keep... I had to do. that throwing him into the scaffolding was gonna kill him. I thought that might just stagger him, but hey, I guess that works out for me. Okay, back to Machiavelli, and then we will climb to the top of the tower. Just because you kill a few guards, does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. Of particular interest! The new rate for an indulgence granted versus the sin of kissing out of wedlock? Set at 1,000 florins! Did they just say that kissing out of wedlock costs you 1,000 florins? <laughs> Virgins, all of them. Little 
ignite the Borgia Tower in a moment after I synchronize. Alright, let's burn this motherfucker down. <gasps> My food's here. Seems the stable is now available for purchase. <laughs> After you. Cardinale Soderini has ordered a piazza be built before his palazzo in Ponte for the benefit of all Romans. Houses presently on the site are to be vacated by tenants immediately. Property owners can petition in that. Yay, my food. Cardinale Soderi for compensation. Bishop Chibo of Foligno has made it known a miracle is being set. No cheese. Yes. Oh my god, I've been unmuted this entire time. Eee. Gonna eat my taco and then we'll go right back to it. I know how Taco Bell is. I know this is gonna hurt my stomach in the morning. But that taco was so good and it was the perfect call.
I see you, little brother. Thank you for coming to watch. I love you. I'm currently eating Taco Bell, but hi. Alright, I, I might stop here and there to continue to eat my Taco Bell, but yeah. <laughs> Taco Bell dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> I got everything without dairy and I guess I call her my sister-in-law, but um, she worked at Taco Bell and recommended switching out beef for the chicken and that that might be easier on my stomach. So I have a crunch wrap, no dairy, and some grilled chicken in it, and then just one taco. Oh, he's on a horse. Oh, I was supposed to get on a horse. Uh, there we go. I know it's a dangerous game, but it's not like I'm going to be anywhere tomorrow that I have to worry about. Only time I'll make exceptions for stuff like that is when I know I don't have anywhere important to be the next day. And I can be home to uh, run to the bathroom if I need to. <laughs> follow Machiavelli. You excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal their sickness, not treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. Look at this city. The center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one oh. man will not change things. I was not we looking at the screen need to take away the source of their power. I ran into a wall. <laughs> Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the sand. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the Assassin Brotherhood. Machiavelli hates peasants, <laughs> pass it on. He must be from your inner circle. Go, get back what he has stolen. I will wait at the Campidoglio. I am meeting a contact there. Give me back my money! <laughs> Come back here! I remember when I played this game the first few times. It used to take Get me out of here before ever I regret sparing your life. to catch this stupid thief. Is my horse still here? Of course not. Why would, you know? Same button as Eagle Vision, which I did not realize. Okay. Move these people down. But is it up and over the hill, or is it... Well, <laughs> there's a yeah! synchronization point over here, so I'll go ahead and do that first so we can help inside the map. Hey, hey! I'm not sure it's up here, though. <laughs> Might get there. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this first. I see that banner. We'll come back for it, maybe. Desmond, 
I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. Oh, hey, there's a feather. I am not looking for something from 16. I was just trying to climb the stupid tower, but. Okay, let's go here. Your phone died per usual, yeah, I'm not surprised. Let's go ahead and synchronize this point here. We can't go out to the Coliseum yet, but I want to. See, it's right there. It's so close. Okay, the banner is there. Question is, is can I get it by jumping? I mean, I should be able to, in theory, right? Jump from there to get to that. Yeah, yeah, I know I can't go that way. Okay, let's see. Well, looks like I should be able to. What's the point of this dancer at the hour? There we go. There is the first Georgia flag. I didn't know there was 101. They're kind of like a Korok seed. Some of them are put in like the worst places. I'm Did you liberate your money from our friend? <laughs> I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. Ah, oh, it's the first time to have an itchy ear. I already got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, finally! This opens the Coliseum. Machiavelli, you better hurry your ass up, bro. It's my favorite part of the map. Liberated the money from him. Even though he stole it from me. I love how he's like, oh no, my contact. We gotta get there quick. And then, you know, it's just trotting along like it's nothing. Music make it seems like you should be in a bit more of a hurry, but I guess not. Machiavelli doesn't really give two shits either way, so. Look at these facades masquerading as government. The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friend, the people, quite easily. When did you become so cynical? I merely describe the reality of Roman today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that we have allies in the city. How much longer this will last, however, I cannot say. The question now is, is this a starter horse that's hella slow, or...? He was attempting to steal official or... Vatican mayor. Perdonate me, signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am working for no one. Then no one will care what we do to you. Ew. Yeah. I am currently not equipping the correct weapon. Now. Where is it? The courier still has the letter. Ezio, stop him! Find me at the tournament! You might have been saying something important. I don't know what it was, though. And now that we're here... To walk you through setting Twitch up. It is... Setting Twitch up itself is not difficult. It's setting up these like themes and stuff, so the little overlays that I have um, does take a bit of work, 
but there's a program you can download called OBS, which is funny because you and I both probably think of OBS as that truck software. But it's called OBS Studio and it actually makes this so much easier. I know Twitch has its own studio program, but it's in beta and it sucks. <laughs> but once you get figure, figure OBS out and get it like working, it makes your life so much easier. Yeah, I'm sure you could do some Forza streams though. Let's see. It's over here. <laughs> Old body style. Yes, I know, but I wasn't there. I swear to God, there used to be something else I'm thinking of, maybe. Old body style and something else, but. I might have mixed the two up. Let's see. Either way, <laughs> this is the program you want to use. It's really, once you get the hang of it and figure it out, it's incredibly easy and it makes things old but sexy. <laughs> I guess. Okay, where's that synchronization? No! <laughs> uh, one of the things I don't miss about playing this game. You were going this way? Allow me to jump off of the building. synchronization point. And there we go. Now we can get back to the main story. We're still kind of in... I guess they call it tutorial mode. It's not really after and you... It's not until after you have that first meeting at the ease of the uh, Tiberina, that they then kind of let you go on and start doing game shit. I do find it a little obnoxious that you do have to like, play a lot of the story before you get access to anything, but I guess that's just is how it is. I always end up writing the places or in hey, places hey. that are just incredibly difficult to get into. Okay, let's just go here. And now our introduction to the followers of Romulus. in that little Naruto run. Loot these guys. Is 
It's like they really rub it in. You didn't do 100%. You need to go back and do it again. One of these, um, I guess you can call them lairs of the followers of Romulus. They expect you to do it in like something ridiculous in like eight minutes. But it is incredibly difficult to do and really annoying. They must have come from in here. Pocket, not loot. Okay, whatever. Don't get all on me about it. Although, little brother, I don't know. When we used to play it at home, did you ever figure out that that little icon when you're pickpocketing? is a hand or like a gloved hand because I don't know about you but I could never make out what it was on the TV. <laughs> so first shrine to Romulus. I don't know that you would remember something like that. It was worth a shot. So doing these does make my, my heart sad a little bit. The... These shrines of Romulus, or you know, the lairs of the followers of Romulus, Eventually you get- what the hell, that should have made that. Eventually you get enough keys to be able to unlock an armor set that's hidden behind a gate. Called the Romulus armor. But for some reason my siblings and I, especially my youngest brother, thought it was hilarious to call it Armulus Romer and just switch the first letters and we, to even to this day, still call it that when we talk about it or in reference to it. It's not really funny to anybody looking like on the outside, but to us, for some reason, it was just the funniest shit in the world. We're like, oh, oh the army was wrong. No! <laughs> Camera keeps popping me. Okay. Keep it centered as much as I can. Go ahead and get this fourth and this third one here, and the fourth one is in the corner. Actually, for the ver when I did this thing in particular for the very first time, I got really turned around in this room. Since there's more than those, there's more than one pillar in here. I kept not knowing where. Uh, you know, you play something enough and you figure it out. Okay. 
first things first, there's that thing in there. Get that banner. Forge a flag. Um, let's see. Here we go. You essentially have to climb around the room. if there was a time limit on doing this one. There might be. Oh, I never noticed that. It's like a painting on the ruin back there. difficult but this is one of those rooms where they really test you with the jumping if you are if the camera is even a little off angle you jump in the completely opposite direction Keep going. <laughs> See, like that, like. <laughs> You would burn your feet. <laughs> she said you could have a turtle pond. Do you need turtles? <laughs> Let's see, there's that. How do I? there. Mmm. Do you have to start at this side of the room? Is that how you do? Oh. wanted turtles. <laughs> uh, I have never gotten this Borgia flag on this side of the room before, actually. I've always been like, damn, it's all the way over there, and I'm all the way over here. How am I supposed to get that? Neat! Look at that. At least 
want to try to collect. The feathers are not hard to collect in this game. The Borgia flags, on the other hand, are a bit more difficult to collect all of them, since some of them are in the stupidest fucking places. I figured they'll outlive me. Well, turtles will outlive a lot of people. They're kind of built to last. <laughs> See, I don't get that. I don't know why he just sucker punched that dude off the balcony. <laughs> I mean, I get that, because, like, with the dog, right, they are obviously not going to outlive you. But they're great anyway. That's the wrong way. <laughs> They'll live to, like, a hundred, according to Find an Email. <laughs> Oh, this one was on a timer. I mean, yeah. I. They can be over 100, I think, because wasn't Crush over 100? Or am I thinking wrong, or is he. Imagine being 100, though. Dang. Now I can get back fall. up here. <laughs> here we go. Um, is there a way to get over there? Yes. What the hell? There's even like a frickin' I am confusion. We don't need every treasure chest. Your back hurts now. Imagine if at a hundred. Yeah, imagine. I'm sitting like a shrimp right now. So imagine shrimp back at a hundred. <laughs> I think I thought there was a treasure chest over there, but there is not. Um, to <coughs> go over here. <coughs> Although by saying shrimp back now, I'm imagining just like a really old shrimp like a beard and everything, you know? Looking like Father Time, but it's a shrimp. Yeah, sitting like a shrimp. You've never seen that meme of like, it's just, <laughs> it's like a stock photo of a chair that someone photoshopped another stock photo of a piece of shrimp onto. Sitting like a shrimp, you know, you're hunched over, you're, <laughs> I don't know how else to say. That could help if I fall. So it's always jumping from these two balconies that I usually tend to eat it. Perfect. A route up if I fall. Okay. So I can go that way to get that banner, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. I'm surprised you've never heard of anybody saying sitting like a shrimp, little brother. <laughs>
much. <laughs> I'm glad you thought it was funny. I'll have to find the picture. <laughs> But it's it's the best because it's it's literally just two separate photos of like a black chair and a shrimp. There we go. Into the layer. Claim all the loot and then get the first key. I used to have a system for how I would go about getting the loot around the room. For some reason. I would like start at the closest chest to the back and I would move my like zigzag across the room until I got to the final two next to the the thing with the key in it. Don't ask me why. I have mental illnesses. I don't know which one is responsible for that, but there's one out there. <laughs> awesome, so we got the first key, or first of the scrolls of Romulus. And there are, I think it said there were six of them. We'll complete the memory within eight minutes. So that- oh, it was the Hall of Nero. Okay. So I was wondering, I was like, huh, this looks like, you know, how they describe Nero. But I didn't say anything aloud because I didn't want to be wrong. But hey, look at that. I need to take a bite of this crunch wrap while that's loading. The followers of Romulus. This band of false pagans has been terrorizing the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. Quite convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. Follow me. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards, but many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. He says that, but I get a kick out of running around town causing problems. Ben trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Serezio. A pleasure. 
Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo D'Alviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. Now I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. Terrific news, chicken in a crunch wrap is just as good as beef. <laughs> I don't know why he's running, but. <sighs> All right. You get the synchronization point up here. So many jalapenos in that thing. <laughs> Synchronize here. What, no music this time? late, I guess. Mm. I want to liberate that bank.
That's right, you're gonna be selling your car, huh? Or your, your Audi, I think, right? BMW, my bad. You know what I mean. I know you're sad about it, little brother, but maybe it's a good thing. I mean, you and dad are going to have something, aren't you? I know you guys were talking about having a project car to do. Doing one of Ethan's favorite cars or something like that. Supposed to be a doctor. The nine eleven for a yellow corvette. Yeah, he was mentioning that. No need to be shy. Come forward. be good to do I mean I <laughs> not you do <laughs> happens it happens my containers already full oh here I'm here I was thinking jar of leeches let's go ahead and sell those Okay, let's see. Here, there, and there. I'm gonna go ahead and get that Borgia Tower first. One of them got up. Oh, where are you going? Well, I think it's all right to be a responsible adult for a little bit. I mean, there's always going to be time. I mean, hopefully, always going to be time for a race car and for you to, you know, find something that maybe is a little safer than your than your BMW. <laughs> Which it sounded like had almost every possible safety concern I could think of. Il Papa wishes it be known amongst the citizens. The new race for indulgences have been published on the doors of all the syndicate and not people. We are about to set a tower on fire, yeah, if I could figure out where oops. Figure out where this guy's at. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Tower 
Whoever's on the way to where- oh fuck. You didn't see nothing, my guy. way to like crouch <laughs> kind of like in the newer games because you kind of stay a little out of sight is he hiding like under he's probably in that tunnel or something isn't he Has he lost his mind? oh this guy at. Aha! That's right! Oh my god! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be that easy to kill him. <laughs> That was gonna be a lot more difficult, but I guess not. Worked out for me. Right. So now we will synchronize, and then yes, it will be time to set the tower on fire. If I can. Hello, is this not the way to go? No, 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 no. Oh, death. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Let's try it from this angle instead. That's the right way to go. No! <laughs> oh well, <laughs> I guess we're here. way to get him to stop. <laughs> Although I am kind of peeved that the clearly laid out path that I was supposed to follow didn't fucking work and I instead plummeted almost to my death. me earlier but it clearly says to pick up object or loot so okay let's try this again There's a. Oh, maybe I was supposed to grab onto that ledge, maybe? Can I? Oh. <laughs> the window. What was that? A pasta bake? That actually sounds really good. We need to go grocery shopping, but. 
Yeah, no, I was talking about looting. I don't really do a whole lot of pickpocketing, but it happens. I think you do have to do it for that one mission, at least. <laughs> happens, bro, it happens. Pasta bake, was it like a spaghetti? I can open up this doctor's office to use it. Hey, have you lost all reason? I haven't lost all reason, but I've lost a little bit of, you know, everything else. Let's see, where's the doctor supposed to be? It's up here, isn't it? Get down. And parmesan so is it dairy-free feta and parmesan or is it uh oh yeah you said dairy-free pasta bake where do you get dairy-free feta whole foods Such pain as you have, I can Ricotta, only make red better. sauce feta parmesan and cherry tomatoes that actually sounds really good and you need to send me the recipe well, i guess i must have gotten more medicine from those guys i killed Stable this away. You know, you'll have to send me what feta that is. I used to really like some feta crumbles and some like, rice and shit. Oh. It's also good for Mediterranean food. You know how I used to make like a. There was like a Greek salad or Mediterranean type bowl thing that Aaron and I used to do. As a meal prep it was really good but I had feta and since I can't have feta anymore I've been like refusing to try it because I don't want it unless it has it. supposed to go. Oh! Right up there. No, there's a treasure chest up there. Oh, yeah. No, there it is. Buy that real quick. Say goodbye to my crouch rat.
I'm trying to figure out how to play this game. I need my crunch wrap at the same time. <laughs> you can't really run. You can fast walk. I suppose that's better than nothing. I'm good now. <laughs> so I'm guessing based on where I'm at, I'll be doing the brothel first. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. A man took us on a ship. Then they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere. Near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Just killed him. Take him out. 
Ba -ba 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 You see me. Oh, I'm in the worst place. <laughs> Don't swim. They try to throw rocks at me. Yeah, she's been touched by higher power. It's her fucking brother. Granted new power to those establishing trade in a new world. Enslavement of the local indigenous populations will now be blessed by his holiness. In the hope it may sooner bring them to shelter in our true God's love. Okay, where am I going? Where they need money. Aren't you supposed to be able to just walk past people holding B? trouble. Leader fam. Try following me up here. Oh wait, you can't. Steal and run. Steal and run. Yeah, dude, let me steal your money faster. people that look like kind of rich you know to steal from I guess they're all peasants, so like, how rich can they be, you know? Steal from this lady. Excuse me, lady. Let me take your money. Thank you.
about the little boy of Brescia. It has caused several. I stole from a clergyman. Steal from this guy. I didn't have a whole lot of money. Steal from this person. Steal from that lady. Trouble. Like Aladdin, where he's like, Oh, you only get in trouble if you get caught. No, I'm in trouble. Me right now. Shit, I keep running into more guards. What kind of luck is this? Officers. Uh, when you run, you get in more trouble. She had 20 bucks. I'm gonna steal from that guy. Feel bad. Restricted area, huh? get to that. I'm busy at the moment, though. Was surprisingly super easy. <laughs> Let's see, I hear a treasure chest. Oh, I love it when they cower in fear. Alright, how do I get up there? Power is well. Ah, 
That's what it was. It was like, I can hear the little jingle of something. What is it? Yeah, I will meet the traitors eventually. I'm busy at the moment. Ha, so this is the right way. And synchronize this here where there. Awesome. Synchronize that point. We'll go ahead and burn the gorgeous tower down. still dies anyway, but we get all the money. So hey, it worked out to me. Pushing. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. You break the rules, we break. Are you here for the whore? Are you serving me? I have your money. 
Let her go. No! Take it up with Cesare! I can co show gameplay only on stream. Let me go open something I don't want to show it. Um, so I, I guess it depends on what you're trying to show gameplay on. Um, OBS, which is the program I'm using to stream on, actually makes it pretty easy, whether you have... So I have the, the Switch set up currently on a PC since I mostly do PC gaming. Um, you have the option when you add a source to um, kind of select where it's coming from. So I can switch it if I wanted to. So right now it's showing the, the capture card as the like video capture. Um, but I do have a, another little thingy here where if I was playing on PC, you would see that it's showing my desktop. And my mouse got stuck, there we go. There are all kinds of really super helpful videos on YouTube that can help you um, kind of learn how to do that stuff. That's what I did. So I was completely useless. I was using the uh, Twitch has a their own little studio, um, but it's kind of in beta right now, so it's still still in the process um, of kind of you know working through the kinks and whatnot. But I found that Twitch Studio was really difficult to use, or it wasn't very helpful because I was like googling like how do you stream, and everybody was like, oh, download OBS, and then I was using Twitch Studio at the same time and. It was really complicated for a little bit, but YouTube and Google are definitely your best friends on that. So like this, um, the little chat overlay and like the donations and things like that, I didn't know how to add those little chat boxes there. Uh, granted, I'm, my chat box is like really compressed because I couldn't make it any smaller for whatever reason. Um, so it makes it kind of difficult to see things there. But there are all kinds of videos and whatnot that like help you figure out how to set all of this up. And OBS is super user friendly, thankfully. So it's, once you learn how to do something, it does make it relatively simple. As well as um, once you have one thing set up, so like my desktop thing, my desktop thing has that little chat box, the donation box, things like that um, all set up. You can copy and paste it from one, what they call a scene, and paste it into another, and it will copy and paste it exactly like it was in the other. So it's really, really super easy once you figure it out. I <laughs> I had to use a lot of YouTube, but thankfully, you know, there is that kind of resource available to be able to do that kind of thing. The internet's a great place. <laughs> No, he's gonna get away. Damn. You're welcome. Glad I was able to answer my question for you. If you have any others, if I can help, I will be more than happy to answer them for you. For right now, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. This is not the way I wanna go. Also, I should say that um, online you ha there are all kinds of different talented people that will make these little overlays too. So this whole Sailor Moon themed overlay an artist off Etsy made, um, and I just you know 
paid her and she uh, gave me the information to be able to download it and to add it as well as my uh, overlays for you know when I'm gonna be right back or when the stream's starting or ending those overlays are all from the same and um, the Sailor Moon overlay is from a different artist but my my other ones are from uh, all the same artist as well and there are wonderful people that you can commission to make some really amazing stuff too. I didn't commission anybody, I can't really afford to at the moment, but uh, you can still find some super awesome amazing ones all over the place. I said the internet's a wonderful place, there's all kinds of cool people. You'd be surprised the amount of information you can find. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go back to the brothel. And get angry at our sister for being there. In Luisa Francia made a solemn proclamation that the food of Milano must be improved to translate his standards before he will take some of the food. I am Muslim. Also a side note on gameplay. If you're playing on console, or at least any of the newer consoles, like the PlayStation 5 or the uh, the new Xbox, I'm, it's possible that the PS4 and whatnot do that as well. You can also stream directly from the console. I don't know that you'll have any, um, so if you're using a mic to speak, you won't be able to do that. I don't, I believe, um, but you can at least stream your gameplay. I know I did that for my very first stream, was just like... 30 minutes to an hour of me playing Genshin Impact on my PS5, and it was just gameplay, there wasn't any speaking. But that's an option too if you're looking to do just a gameplay on the stream. Mother? Sister? Ezio, Sir Machiavelli said that you might be here. What are you doing in Roma? Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? Ezio, we want to help. I was trying to help you by sending you to Firenze. Where is Madonna Solari? She's dead. Merda. What now? Will we have to close? We cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're finished. I'll do it. You do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran on Comerios for years. This is different. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia, and you are on your own. I've been on my own for 20 years. Fine. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess, and I want your courtesans to find Katarina Sforza. You can count on us. He's kind of a dick sometimes. <laughs> I love him. Love him very much. Ezio's my favorite. But like, damn, cut your sister some slack. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, the most popular brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, I keep a list of the skills taught to my girls. You're not teaching them much. Let's see. Oh, no wonder. It's 
right, I had the brightness all the way up for when I play on the TV because I can't see the dark scenes very well. Can we do better? Nessun problem. That's so much better. Oh my god. The Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. It's your. Did you find Katarina? We are working. It's been 30 seconds. Then Ezio gets a patient. Come to see me, you? Isola Tiberina, with her location. Buongiorno, mother. Ezio, thank you for coming to see me. What troubles the courtesans? The old proprietor of this brothel, Madonna Solari, was a cheat and liar. Her ties to the church have been uncovered. Worse, several of those who work for us sleep with the enemy still. I will find them. Visit the girls I trust. They will help you. Grazie, Ezio. Oh my god, that looks like so much better, like a thousand times better. This game definitely does make me ruin this quite a bit, and I miss my brother so much. So to clarify for those, for any of you have, who've been listening, you know, who either listen to this later on after it's already been done, and you're unaware, or if you're new, you don't meet, you know me very well, um, I... <laughs> I didn't realize how hard that was to try to get that sentence out because it just doesn't feel right. I have two younger brothers. I'm the oldest out of my family, but have two younger brothers. Uh, one of them has been in chat today, and I really appreciate him coming on and supporting me. Even though he doesn't have to, I mean, he even said that he made a, a Twitch specifically so that he could support me, and I appreciate that so much. Um, the other one is the reason that we are playing Assassin's Creed. I, I do have a schedule that I follow. Uh, normally, what day is today? Monday, I would have been playing Final Fantasy XIV online. Um, but I did lose my youngest brother a week and two days ago. And him and I used to spend hours playing this game together. All of my siblings, really, but... Him and I in particular really like this game. He would watch me play, um, make comments on it. I would help him when he would get stuck on things he didn't know how to do or he was having trouble with. I think that's one of the things I miss, <laughs> miss quite a bit. Being an older sibling is, you know, your siblings coming to you for help on things they're stuck on. Because now they don't need my help. Um... But again, did lose my, my youngest brother a week and two days ago. He really liked this game. We used to play together. And I kind of felt that, like, you know, my... My coming back to streaming um, after taking a week off, it made sense to do something like this versus my normal schedule. You know, to play a game that he loved. Um, Kind of reminisce on on the times we used to spend together playing this, and you know, just 
enjoying a game that I love. I <laughs> it's so silly the games that end up being like your your comfort, almost like a like a nice warm blanket, and this is definitely one of those. Breath of the Wild being another, but Breath of the Wild is a game that I played solely, you know, on my own. I didn't have a whole lot of people watching me do it. My fiance being an, an exception, but or no, my husband now. Excuse me, my husband now. Um, being an exception, but this is one of those games I, I played for years. I've done multiple playthroughs of. I think I mentioned earlier I've done at least three, maybe four full run-throughs of this game. Um, I started playing it in high school and I've kind of just always had a place in my heart for it. Whereas Breath of the Wild, I've only done one full playthrough and then uh, have kind of done most of the story on master mode. But I'm not willing to finish the game yet. <laughs> Rich pickings! Catch him! I love how it's just one guy <laughs> who wanted to. He's kind of he's determined. Look at him. Look at him go. Uncharted was another in, one of those. In. We had I'll it on. Kill you if you don't. Thank you, little brother. Bartolomeo. <laughs> Uncharted we had on PlayStation 3. Wait, That's right. It was my you mom's my wife. PlayStation 3, and it was like one of the very Batilea. first games. Batilea. It's one of the very first games that I ever Ish. played, really, aside from Did like you Wii check games. behind the table? You used to do that a lot too. That's right. Ah, yes, I just yes. recently got Uncharted 2 for my PlayStation 3. I've yeah, never played that one before. I played the first one and the third Charmed. one and the fourth Truly. one, but they were the seconds. We didn't own it. Now, we talk about war. How was the fight against the French? Bene. My men are holding their own. Machiavelli seemed to think things were more difficult. You know Machiavelli. Abbiamo bisogno del vostro aiuto! Scusatemi. Throw me Bianca. Ezio, let me get straight to the point. The fight is not going well. We have been attacked on both sides. Borgia on one, French on the other. But know this. The Borgia position is weak. If you can defeat them, we can concentrate our forces on the French front. I think I know a way to help. Thank you for disclosing this to me, Madonna Dalviano. It is the least a wife can do to help her husband. Kill only the Borgia captain? Stop their leader before he gets to the tower! I'm not involved! Tell me! Get back! There we go. Uncharted, I completely forgot about that. That game's ending was real fucking creepy when you're going through that, like, old World War II base and the fucking monsters are coming out of nowhere. Thank you. 
retribution for getting for killing anybody. Maybe for the next little while we'll just play games I used to play when I was younger. Nostalgia month. This tower. There we go. It's another gorgeous pull. Ooh, I almost did not synchronize. <laughs> was Alice, Madness Returns. I do know they, they used to watch me play that one too. Let's see, is there anything else? I don't think so. If you can think of anything, little brother, aside from those three. There's a treasure chest over there. Uh, well, I can still go over there, I guess. So yeah, this is definitely one of the faster horses in comparison with that white horse in the tutorial area. I know, I remember the graphics of this game we used to think was insane. <laughs> and now looking yeah. at it, I'm like, ooh, this game's rough, like in the beginning where they're having that there's that sex scene that's like not really a sex scene between Katharina Kath and I swear to god I can roll my R's I'm not going to worry about that right now though um, between him and her and I was looking at her hands and I'm like she's got like sharp edges on her hands that shouldn't be there <laughs> like it looks so blocky sometimes or just like look at this guy So, like standing in default mode like he's kind of floating above the ground a little bit <laughs> god we used to think this game looks so good and now i look at it and i'm like oh that's rough <laughs> Ezio, we sent those luridi codardi running for the hills yes yeah i mean for the most part it's still pretty good I mean, now that the pope's dogs nap. have fled I will be able to draw more men to the fire. For the time, it's, you know, pretty good for what it was. Who will take care of this? But in, like, comparison no to games now, like, games like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Ghost of Tsushima, 
But in return, I need to know Cesare and Rodrigo's every move. Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden Your men keep track of them. What the hell did you see that leaf? Oh, man. But those are games that look really amazing, and it you know it's almost realistic at times. Gaming has really come a long way, I guess I would say. Isn't she a thing of beauty? Very impressive. More men join us every day. It has become very competitive, which is just the way I like it. As you can see, this board shows the ranks of our top warriors. Prove your skills, and you will move up the list. <laughs> Shouldn't I already be at the top? Yeah, there. the graphics difference between San Andreas and, and Grand Theft Auto V is fun. insane. Now, if Even the gameplay, me, like, it's just so... Oh my money gosh. This match. We used to play San Andreas, I forgot about that. You had to think about what two different games those are. Where is Bartolomeo? At the fight downstairs. Again, like I said, has gaming has come a really long world. way. <laughs> However, strategy is equally important. Take these carrier pigeons, for example. Oh, Each one sent from Machiavelli bears the name of an important Templar in Roma. Eliminate them, and you will have more of an impact than a battle ever could. Thank you, Madonna. Can you ask Bartolomeo to come see me at Isola Tiberina for the report about Cesare and Rodrigo's whereabouts? He will be there. Pigeons! Hear that, little brother? It's birds. Your favorite. GTA 6 better be epic. Yeah, I imagine it's going to be pretty pretty cool whenever it does come out. Am I not able to use... I'm trying to visit a pigeon coop right now! I guess I can't. What's over here? Ooh, I can make this into a guild. What is this? Where are they? The mercenaries? I want to be able to do cocaine while doing a try and find a low rider with Dr. Trey. <laughs> well, they can't show you what's going on inside the car because they have to give you a third person view so you can see where you're going. It's not exactly like Forza or anything where you can get that inside- Come on, you can't get the inside car view, can't you? I forgot about that. I haven't played a whole lot of GTA V, so... Can I fix this yet? Fuck! Yeah, get him! I mean, but I am though. I'm like still on the horse. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit the mercenary. I am so sorry, my guy. Like, you can't exactly aim this thing when you're up here. We 
go. <laughs> you can do first person. Yeah, I, I kind of remembered afterwards that you could. I, I didn't, again, I didn't play a whole lot of GTA 5 myself. I did watch a lot of gameplay for GTA 5. But I didn't play it. I think we own it even, but I just haven't... I don't know. I just never picked it up. It would be interesting if they added that. I don't know if they would, though. <laughs> Go cold driving? I don't think so. <laughs> Not enough I'll money. We need a general. Get ready for bed, kiddo. I really appreciate you coming and watching the stream at all. You really didn't have to, but I love you and I appreciate you supporting me. Get get some rest, get some sleep. Lord knows we all need it. I haven't been sleeping well, so here I am gaming, hoping that it'll make me go to sleep at some point. myself personally I think we'll probably go over here get the thieves guild and then we'll probably call it a day for this stream uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be back tomorrow again what time I don't know it kind of just depends on how I feel during the day you know being honest about grief and whatnot it is extremely difficult to do anything <laughs> when you're grieving you know, especially a family member, it's always really difficult when something like that happens. But awesome! So I'll see you Friday. It's Monday. <laughs> Drive safe when you do come up. I'm sure we'll talk between now and then. But get some rest. I love you. Sleep well. Damn, 11 and midnight. I guess I didn't quite catch that. That's... Oh, Thursday. Okay, Thieves Guild. Ezio. La Volpe. I'm surprised to see you. And why have you appeared at my door? Wait, I know the answer. You always do. You want to put my spies to work? Then join me. In aiding Machiavelli? No, thank you. That man is a traitor to our order. A serious allegation coming from a thief. What is your proof? He was an ambassador to the papal court and traveled as a personal guest of Cesare himself. I also know he abandoned you right before the villa attack. Machiavelli may not please all tastes, but he is an assassin, not a traitor. I am not convinced. Ah, 
he is meeting someone in the Trastevere right now. Care to accompany me? I will follow. to meet La Volpe at the market. We we'll call the horse, that'd be faster. Boards of Tower Guard over there is just taunting me. I want. <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I just fucking bitch slapped him and he no. You motherfucker. That guy, like, thinks he sees me, but he's not sure. <laughs> Synchronize from this. Oh, there we go.
There's that taken care of. Now can we go to the My son Claudio has been injured. They are going to shoot him. I will kill these. Go, get the others. <laughs> Cut off his escape. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll regret that. No. I, no. You're such a pain for that. No. Oh, no. Enough. Oh, my God. Sword. from the guards. I cannot. They are going to kill me. Pay attention. Do what I do. Let's go. Yeah, let's see. Hard. Stay close, Claudio. Not a grazie, Messeri. Keep out of sight for a while, Desi. The guards are looking for you. I see they have posters up. Then rip them down. You can pay the heralds a few florins to silence them. Or I can eliminate witnesses. <laughs> you know how to disappear. Yeah, damn right I do. Okay, there's a poster. For <gasps> where? Kills for sport. <laughs> there it is. Poster here. Do not think for one instant 
this up and then we will call it a day it is i have been going at this for much longer than i normally stream but hey it's been fun <coughs> this is one of them slow ass horses up the stables get down from there <laughs> yeah noticeable difference between that horse and this one night this has been. Volpe, me. listen to me. I know what we saw, but you have nothing to fear from Machiavelli. I am sure of it. I have you to thank for saving Claudio's life. If you believe Machiavelli remains loyal to the Order, I trust you. So, what of the thieves? We had plans to repair this old building, but now that you and I are working together, I would like to know what you think. We need to make sure the Borgias stay away. Perhaps it could look like an inn. Yes. Hmm, I like that idea. Then I will make it so. Drew over here dropping bands. To la volpe addormentata. The inn looks perfect. No one will ever suspect its real purpose. The guild will be run from here. Visit me whenever you like. There might be objectives to pursue that will help our cause in the city. I see you thieves compete against each other. You can participate if you wish. Perhaps you will show them a thing or two. Ah, yes, I forgot. We also have gambling. It is a great source of income, especially since we ensure that the Borgia guards always lose. One last thing. I need your spies to find the apple. It has been taken from me. We are searching the city for it already. Molto bene. Come to Isola Tiberina with your findings. I shall. We've got the we've got the courtesans. We have the thieves and the mercenaries all set to go now, and we can really get cracking into some of these because uh, you know I do see that there is a lair of Romulus over there, a 
as well as some more main story and some more synchronization points and Borgia Towers we can definitely go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and get cracking at this tomorrow. I am going to call it tonight. It has been about 4 hours and 20 minutes, which is way longer, about 2 hours longer than I normally do. But I'd like to thank you so much for watching the stream, uh, whether that be while it's live or uh, when it's recorded afterwards and, and posted up on the channel. Uh, you can find me at uh, underscore, oh no, bandit underscore gaming 97 at, uh, on Instagram, as well as on, uh, <laughs> my god, I normally have this outro, on Instagram and on Twitter, as well as uh, here on Twitch as well. I do normally stream Monday to Friday, usually between about 12 and 2. Things are going to be a little wonky. The schedule is kind of thrown out the window just till further notice until things kind of get back to normal on my end. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I will see everybody again tomorrow. Bye bye! You started getting ready for bed with soothing sounds, and now you're ready.